Welcome to the TV 12 podcast. <laughs> the number one podcast in SC. With hosts Prince Mazani and Bird Daddy. TV 12. Yard of City. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Prince Mazani. I'm here with uh, Mr. Skinny the Don. Bird Daddy back uh-huh, at it once uh-huh. again with Mr. Skinny the Don. B12 podcast, right. you already know what time it is. Let's go. Right, right, let's get it. So Yo, salute, man. Skinny Naughty in here, man. The Skinner's been here. Hey, man. Hey. The glad to be here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We glad to have yeah. you here. You a controversial motherfucker, you know that? Yeah, man. Some people say that. <laughs> All right. Word, word. So let's get right into it, man. What's up with you and Charleston White? What's going on with that? Man, to be honest, man. Oh. That motherfucking Charleston White is a bitch ass nigga. Oh wow! Oh, shit. And, and, and when I say that, when I say when I, when I say Charleston White is a bitch ass nigga, I'm not just saying this shit like for no clout or anything like that. Y'all can go to my page, um, Mr. Skinny the Dawn, um, Mr. Skinny the Hellcat Dawn. You'll see multiple interviews that I did with Charleston White. You'll see multiple me and Charleston White out in the hood in Fort Worth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Doing things. He is a bitch ass nigga. Mm. He he is the type of motherfucker that um he he's an opportunist, mm. which I feel like all of us are. But not only that, he's a fucking coward and he's a liar. And he will come on here and he will use people and then mm. he will lie on them and then um for his gain. Right. But I wasn't going. So when he started that fuck shit with me, I'm like, bitch ass nigga, you ain't all this talk about money talking. You going on Live Nation tours and shit? You boxing niggas and shit? Yeah. Like, nigga, you got one eye, bitch ass nigga? Yeah. Who the fuck is going to goddamn commission a fight with a blind motherfucker right, for you right. to sue him and shit? So that whole shit is a scam. Yeah, all that shit is a scam. This is a motherfucking, all that shit about he getting money and all this. This nigga is crying on the internet over $250 checks. Wow. Mm. That's $250 checks. $250 checks. I won't get off my motherfucking gaming chair for two hundred and fifty dollar checks, mm. and this bitch ass nigga is up here talking all this shit. But yeah, like I don't fuck with that nigga. I graduated from Fort Worth, you know my my ties run deep in Fort Worth. Mm-hmm. Uh, you graduated know, like, with, like high school, high yeah, school, yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm. Um, so this ain't just you, just metro born and raised. Like, I'm in the city too. You in the city? Right. Right. Yeah, I done graduated with niggas. Uh, shout out the big dog. Um, okay, like these niggas, he know these niggas. Yeah, like so, like all that shit he do with them other niggas, he don't play with me. Right. Like that nigga got a video on this shit right now talking about. Hey, you know, I ain't gonna talk about uh, Mr. Skinny no more and all threats I take serious and, you know, this and that. Because he come through here. Yeah. Like, nigga, I, I got videos of me with him here. Like, right. nigga, when he come here, I'm like, Matter yo, fact, you in the city. Charleston White was here, what, it was about three weeks ago, wasn't it? Wasn't he here about three? I didn't hear about that, ago? but he was here about, like, what, about three months ago. Mm. Right, right down there at Duck Square. And, mm. um, yeah, I pulled up. Him and Dewberry. Mm. But yeah, like, man, I don't give a fuck about now one of them niggas, man. Like, fuck Charleston White. Like, matter of fact, uh, to be honest, nigga, I'm hotter than Charleston White right now. Mm. Mm. Really? That's the real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you ask motherfuckers, like, that, all that shit he be talking about, he be going in the community and getting love and shit like that. Man, that nigga don't be. I, I witnessed, I witnessed this fuck nigga. Like, say your son just won a football game. Yeah. I witnessed this fuck nigga, you take $500 out your pocket and then give to me yeah. and then cut the camera on and then I say, yeah, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? You did a hell of a thing. Let me give you some money. Oh, nah. <laughs> that nigga's is wild. So wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. It be cap. All that shit be cap. Everything he do is cap. That's why you can't believe shit that be going on the internet bro. nowadays, bro. That's crazy. Everything he do is cap. And, and our real problem begun like, it's like this. In business, in, in this industry shit, yeah. you know a snake is a snake, but you hoping you can get in and out without getting bit. Mm. If, if, if if it's worth it. Right. That fuck nigga bring views. You know what I'm saying? So like, is, is fucking with him worth what the outcome gonna be? Cause you know he's a bitch that gonna snake you. Yeah, he gonna burn so him. with this, I linked up with some motherfuckers he linked me up with. Mm. We doing business. Yo, we decide to hit him up and include him in it. He with it. Mm-hmm. The minute when he see the shit blowing up, because he got a problem with another vlogger. Yeah. 
and I'm fucking with that vlogger, then he gets mad at me, and then he just goes live and say, oh, yo, this shit is fake, this shit is fake, all oh, this and that. We're like, my nigga. Your shit is fake. Not only is your shit fake, but he's saying that he didn't want no involvement in it. Well, nigga, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, like all that shit. Like, for instance, this boxing shit he just did where he, he, he hit, hit the, the nigga, nigga in the head. Yeah. That yeah. shit was fake. What? The nigga was bleeding and all that. It was fake. That was real. Okay. But I'm, I'm talking about that was real, but he knew he was going to get hit. Right. Okay. It was staged. Yeah, no, like, no, I mean, he, like he, he all made, he did was like tap. Mm -hmm. If you hit anybody and, and, and in the, the scalp right there. He maced him, man. He maced that was that fake, was fake. Mace. That was fake. That was fake mace? Man, bro, you done been in plenty of clubs. You done been in plenty of clubs. I was okay, thinking. Okay, I was all thinking, of this close. This is what I was thinking. Everybody else, he's the only nigga that was affected by the mace. Man, right. if all, all of this close and this man mace me head we off. We all smell Y'all niggas yeah. leaving. Right. Yeah. I got the brunt of that shit. Y'all niggas. It's fucked up too. Y'all like, man, god damn. Yeah. Everybody sit there and smile. And then on top of that, another thing I thought was suspicious, it was like three or four other like nicely uh angled videos of him outside reacting to the mace. As if all of that shit was like Pouring milk on him and shit. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? You know how you know it's fake? Who the fuck is that nigga? That's what I was about to say. Who was the dude that he supposed to be boxing? Yeah, who was I never he? heard of him. When have you ever had a celebrity boxing match where the nigga ain't a celebrity that's boxing? Mm. So it was never gonna be no match. And I put the video up on my channel where he told me out his own mouth, man, don't post this here video, man. That shit gonna cost me some money on the fight. Wow. It's, it's, it's up crazy. on my channel right now. That's crazy. What's your channel again? Skinny the Hellcat Dawn It's on that one. Mr. Mm -hmm. Skin of the Dawn, where we be going live at. That's crazy. So talk to us about the Hellcat. How you got the name Hellcat? Where the Hellcat came from and all that? Oh, I got the motherfucking, uh, I got my Hellcat off Kwame Brown. Word, because I see it outside looking nice. So you know Kwame what I'm Brown, the, best, the basketball player. Yeah, the bitch ass nigga Kwame Brown. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that fuck nigga. <laughs> and then the crazy shit about it was, um, we don't even really got no smoke right now. Okay. You know they say Kwame Brown was like one of the biggest busts in uh in, 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 in uh, NBA draft history. One of them. You, you know what? Even though I don't fuck with that nigga, I'm gonna refute that. Really? Yeah, because uh, for one, when I call him a bitch ass nigga, y'all gonna understand. Okay. But 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 for two, it take a lot for me to bash a homie. Mm. And, and, and when I say a homie, I mean any, anybody from Carolina. Because mm. I know how hard it is to make it out this motherfucker. Right. Yeah. But the reason why I call him a bitch ass nigga is because everybody from Carolina, he bashes. Mm. Mm. He bashed Charlamagne the God. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He ba and, and, and he bashed, um, even though like Shannon Sharp is not from here, but yeah. his brother Sterling, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I remember at, Sterling. Yeah, at, at Gamecock time. Bomb ass parties. Right, right, all that Up shit. Um, um, I, mean, I mean, like, it's just like, goddamn, bro. But anyway, um, me and the nigga was uh, rocking out. Like, I thought he was a cool nigga. Um, you know, his daddy had a life sentence. Uh, I didn't actually do time with his daddy, but you know, everybody knew of his daddy back there because when he got drafted, everybody was like, yo, that's Willie Brown's son. Mm -hmm. He got drafted number one. Like, niggas was having a party back there. Niggas was smoking. Niggas was drinking motherfucking buck. All that shit. Like, yeah, you know, one of us that made it number one straight out of high school. First yeah. nigga to do it. Uh -huh. So, you know, like, I'm like, yo, my nigga, like, I was fucking with you when I was locked up, this and that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, shit goes down. Nigga has a shoe drive. I'm doing sneaker reviews at the time. Yeah. So all this shit here up my alley. I pull up, I ain't on no groupy shit, cause like, nigga, I've been doing YouTube before this nigga even got hot. Right. Yeah. So you know, I'm, I'm going down there on some real shit. Like, look, let me get some footage, put it on my sneaker channel. Um, We down here and we, it's for a good cause. Right. So get down there, you know, fuck with the nigga. He called me his cousin. You know, I, I, yeah, you know, like we from Carolina. He talking about, yeah, you know, my country cousin, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So I'm you know, like, we all cousins down here. Yeah, you know, like so I'm like, so I take that, you know, like, and I turn it into like marketing. Yeah. Oh, I'm the cousin of a busty bus because okay. you know they call him a bus. He yeah. call himself a busty bus. So I'm like, I'm the cousin of a busty bus. That shit is like instant, like 
viral mm. in his shit. Cause you know, this nigga get like 10K live. Mm -hmm. So now they wanna see like who the cousin of a busty bus is. According to this fuck nigga, he wanna see people elevate. Like he's the stimulus package. This the shit he's saying, we the people, right. all this here fuck shit. So I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm like, yo shit nigga, I'm motherfucking, yo, getting money, we uh -huh. getting money. All of a sudden, I guess, you know, he see a motherfucker getting too much money, that nigga like, hey, yo, man, um, you got to stop saying that you the cousin of a bus because, you know, like, you be calling black women bitches and shit like that. I'm oh, like, bitch ass right. nigga, you just called your motherfucking baby mama a bitch. Right. Oh, wow. motherfucking camera. So now I'm, I'm the bad motherfucker because, like, so when, once I heard that shit, I was like, yeah, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? You want to fall back, I'm going to fall back. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, this nigga made a statement on his stream talking about, yo, I hope Skinny teaching his son more than how to be a drunk. Ain't no way. What? Right, and when that nigga said that, I just went off on that nigga. I was like, nigga, I'm going to find your motherfucking mama's grave and piss on it, bitch ass nigga. What? And then it just went up from there, you know what I'm saying? So then like shit. You said that on the live? That's, yeah, yeah, that's so yeah, crazy yeah. to say to somebody. Man, fuck that nigga. And I meant it when I said it. But now you know I, I wouldn't do it. But you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I fucking But now it. I wouldn't do it. No, because we done talked, you know, like, it's done been like, yo, bro, I just want to apologize. This is the reason why I said it. And okay. then you know that. So y'all spoke and, and hashed it out? Yeah, we spoke, uh, like, through text. Okay. And, um. And oh, as far as like on video too, mm -hmm. because you know like that's where it happened. Have y'all spoken face to face, or right. even on the Since phone? Since then, on the phone. Yeah, we spoken on the phone. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. that's the song. I mean, we just spoke on the phone live, where he like, yeah, bitch ass nigga, I'm about to pull up on you. And I'm like, well, nigga, where the fuck you at? Then all of a sudden, through a five minute phone call, he done got from Charlotte to Spartanburg, some type of way. I'm like, man, bitch ass nigga, you ain't coming through here. Right. Like, come through this motherfucker and go live and tell me where you at. But anyway. Right. Neither here nor there. Really, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I apologize to the nigga because um, it really didn't have to go that far. He do so much fuck shit. And then once I did that, it like opened the floodgates for all these irrelevant motherfuckers to come and attack him that way. Mm. You know, because I was like the first motherfucker to be like, man, fuck you, nigga. I piss on your motherfucking mama's grave. I don't give a fuck. About your brothers, I don't give a fuck about so none of that shit. So you opened the door for niggas to attack. Yeah, niggas just, after that, niggas just start disrespecting for no reason. So in the midst of that, where's the Hellcat come in? Right. You're oh, the Hellcat comes in, um, I was the first nigga to have Kwame Brown and Gilbert Arenas live at the same time. Mm. On the show. So that shit went viral. And then, um, it's something about that nigga. Whenever you interact with Gilbert Arenas, but the only reason why I interacted with Gilbert Arenas is because Gilbert Arenas said something about his mama that he didn't like, right? And he was like, yo, I'm beefing with this nigga because he's talking about my mama. Yo. You know what I'm saying? So, why y'all talking about why people's mothers? Nah, he so wasn't even about what Gilbert said wasn't really about his mama. <laughs> what Gilbert said was, he put an Instagram post and said, Mama Brown is probably looking down at her baby right now, okay, okay. shaking her head. Right, right, I got you. He didn't know his mama was dead. Oh, damn. Right, so. Hey, to say looking down, you got to know the mama dead. Wow. Right, right. You know, I, I never that. thought yeah, about right, that. Right. <laughs> Gilbert, I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on that. <laughs> but anyway, we squashed it, though. We squashed it because it was like, uh, I hollered at Gilbert behind the scenes, and mm. I was like, hey, yo, man, you know, Kwame, that's my dog. Uh, mm -hmm. He said he got a problem with you talking about his mama, bruh. Um, how can we squash it where we don't even have to worry about this shit shit? Because I'm under the mind state that Kwame don't want no issues right. with the man. He don't want to speak on the man. He don't want the man speaking on him because the beef basically started from him going viral basically started from Gilbert Arenas, Matt Barnes, and Steven Jackson saying that he was a bust. Mm -hmm. On TV, right? Mm -hmm. And he took a fist to that, and then you know, I remember in. that, yeah, yeah. So with with the motherfucking um Gilbert thing, he was like, "All right, my nigga, if, if I say anything about his mama again, I'm gonna give you five bands." Yeah. And I was like, and he was like, and it, and um, and I was like, and if I ever make, if I ever say anything negative about you, my nigga, I'll give you five bands. So we squashed it. Mm. Yeah. Right. This is where the Hellcat come in. When when all that shit happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, Gil was like, uh, hit me up and was like, 
damn, that's some bitch ass nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? The nigga talking about your motherfucking kid being a drunk and this and that and blah, blah, this. And, um, and you would help squash the shit. Right. So I was like, yeah, man. So like, uh, Gil wrote, uh, rolled out with me, uh, partnered on my channel and was like, man, fuck that nigga. Let's motherfucking destroy that nigga. So we did a whole bunch of epic lives and shit like that and shit, man. The nigga motherfucking got down, sent 20 bands to my bank account. And mm. I was like, shit, 20 man. 20 of them things. 20 of them things. I was like, shit. And I'm the gill. Nigga, we go in the motherfucking goddamn grab the motherfucking hottest thing on the showroom floor, my nigga. Mm -hmm. And got down, Kwame Brown, I appreciate it, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the way that story circled around right, it was crazy. to where Kwame Brown was the bitch ass nigga, but I appreciate you bitch ass nigga, Hellcat. You helped me get a Hellcat, I appreciate you. <laughs> and, you got the, um, and you introduced hey, me, way. and you introduced me to a real rich friend. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So some positive came out of all that, right? Yeah, some positive came out of that, but the reason why, man, uh, fuck Kwame Brown is Kwame Brown is a bitch ass nigga and he's a dumb nigga. And um, he don't have no respect for the hometown. Yeah. He don't have no respect um, for people that really, really fuck with him. Mm. Um, he, he claims he's one way when he's another way. He claims that he wants to uplift people and see people, but he don't want to uplift people past him. And when you say right. the hometown, you talking about from right here? Both, from Carolina and uh, Brunswick. Mm. He don't really rep Carolina like that. He be repping Brunswick, Georgia, but he do them niggas wrong too. Mm. So you felt like he was gatekeeping when it came to making a name, and he gave you, he said you was his cousin, but then tried to take the name back. I got a text message to show. Wow. Mm. Okay, okay. The, but the first ever message I ever got from that nigga was like, "Yo, what's up, cuz? Yeah, mm -hmm. what's up, man? My country cousin." Mm-hmm. My country cousin. Cause you branded it and ran with it. He got mad. I, I branded it and ran with it. Mm-hmm. And then he got mad. Cause the cause now his people coming over to see who his cousin is, and like when he going live, he going live in the morning, and niggas like ah, eh, cause you know niggas can't get. I mean, I go live at night. I'm getting busy. I'm cussing motherfuckers out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck these niggas. Like, this is how we moving. They mm -hmm. loving it. We having fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, man. He was even over there. Who? Kwame Brown. He used to be over there Something donating and shit. But then all of a sudden, you know, so like, yeah, man, I appreciate that. I think I'm going to switch the rap on that motherfucker. And the next rap I'm going to get is going to have like Kwame Killer on that motherfucker. <laughs> on the Hellcat. Yeah, because I killed that nigga. <laughs> with the assist from Gilbert Arenas, one of the most underrated point guards ever to play. Then he said with the assist. Agent Zero. Yeah. <laughs> word, word. Yeah. Shout out Gilbert Arena. Shout out Gilbert. Yeah. Yeah, so, we, right. you know, we, we, so when you say he don't he don't support the home team, is that something that you find with a lot of people that come out of out of Carolina, like that they don't really support the home team when they make it? Man, I don't give a <laughs> fuck about Carolina artists. God damn. Renny Rucci, Black Zach, um, yeah, I don't give a fuck about them niggas. You know why? Why? Because I'm the hottest motherfucker in South Carolina mm. right now on YouTube. What do you say to the I'm thousands the of people who who watch Love and Hip Hop and say Rainy Rucci? I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that. I'm the hottest motherfucker in South Carolina on the internet right now with no machine behind them okay. nothing just straight up self-made self-promoted all that the reason why i'm saying this here about these here people is because these motherfuckers will be the same motherfuckers who be like yo i gotta go to atlanta i gotta go down here i gotta go down there uh i gotta get out of columbia i gotta get out of south carolina mm -hmm. these motherfuckers uh they, they crabs in the barrel. They don't show us no support. When y'all motherfucking make it, y'all don't show no support. Right. Like, why the fuck y'all ain't down here sitting on this fucking couch at motherfucking V12 doing podcasts? I personally reached out to every one of these motherfuckers. I'm like, yo. Zach I, Rennie. All Zach them. Rennie. I'm like, yo, Zach. Nigga, like, I ain't reaching out to you on no motherfucking group and shit. Like, nigga, 
Let, let's do a motherfucking do interview. Let's yeah. motherfucking do a motherfucking Hellcat versus Hellcat. Nigga, you got a Hellcat. I got a Hellcat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's do a motherfucking interview. I'm hitting That's Rennie. Good. Yeah, I'm hitting Rennie up. Like, yo, you know, like all this shit. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas is acting like Jets and everybody. I hit Jetson up. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, let's motherfucking collab up, do interviews. These motherfuckers act like because they, I guess, have a bigger stature yeah. than people in Colombia as far as the artists that now they the big people. When in all actuality, you ain't shit. Like everybody else, like nigga, if, if you go to motherfucking Atlanta, <laughs> Rennie Rucci, you ain't no priority. Right. Cardi B's the priority on that label. Thanks. Motherfucker, Wolfpack, or uh, 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 whatever. What what's the name of that label she on? I thought she was. I thought it was Wolfpack. That's what I thought it was. Wolfpack, like, like it's a subsidiary. Subsidiary to QC. A QC. Yeah. You ain't. A, you that you might like, be a priority on that. You fucking them niggas down there. I was damn. So I, I wouldn't even go as far as I, I, but see I don't know you, you might know I don't know that's that's me <laughs> that's, that's me that's me that's me talking because y'all ask me this I would say hey, what the fuck music what the fuck music do you know from Rennie Rucci and and we live here she had a song called Elevators that I like it was called but I'm, what I'll say about Rennie <laughs> Rennie though just off like we know oh, Rennie Rucci from shaking her ass. We know that. We don't know Rennie Rucci from doing no goddamn music. We don't know Rennie Rucci from, from being no motherfucking hell of a mama. We don't know Rennie Rucci for being Boom. no motherfucking um, uh, upstanding citizen. We know Rennie Rucci from getting her ass in that motherfucking strip club, shaking it and making money. That's who the fuck we know motherfucking Rennie Rucci from. I don't even watch Love and Hip Hop, so I don't even know the motherfucker from that. Well, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play devil's advocate for it just a second, because she did take whatever she had, whether it's just her ass and her face and her skin complexion, and allowed it to be used to put herself on some sort of a platform, even if it's not music related, a hundred percent. She's on Love and Hip Hop. And it, it, it looks like she's doing and making a life at least of money for her kids. It is not translating to music, you know, but w w would you consider that in some way putting on for the home team? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Rennie, Rennie. You, you, you know why I say that? And, 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 and I don't want to get it. I don't want to get it. Risk it screwed. Because, you know, I just talked about. I don't want to get it. Risk it screwed because I just talked about. Uh, that bitch ass nigga Kwame Brown, how he talk shit. <laughs> I, I, what I'm saying is, I'm not talking shit against them like that. Yeah. I'm happy that they made it. Okay. My my thing is this: um, how you gonna pay it forward? Yeah. Right. How you get like why why are yeah. you not at V12 Studios uh, doing these here vlogs? But yeah. you'll go down and do say cheese. Mm. You'll do these here other vlogs. Like, and, and I'm talking about it ain't like people not reaching out. Right. Like, like I have, re reach I, out. I have personally reached out. Like, them niggas can check their motherfucking DMs and shit. And like, you ain't no Pee Wee either. Your platform That's right. what I'm saying. Mm. Like, nigga, mm. when I go out in the motherfucking city, niggas be like, oh, shit, Skinny, what's up? Yo, yeah. can I take a picture with your car? Can I do this? Like, all that shit. So, uh, only thing I'm saying is this here, man. Um, and I've seen her and Zach Link. Mm -hmm. Like on some shit like that, but I'm saying this: it's it's other platforms out here. Mm -hmm. So don't sit there and say that South Carolina can't be a major player. When nigga, this the internet age. You could be a major player any motherfucking way. Right. Like right. so, fuck that shit. If you want to go and motherfucking suck out of town, dick, oh. or do whatever the fuck you feel like you gotta do to get on, then do that. But don't, cause nigga. I'm out here doing it. Nobody the, said the, the shit about that you Kevin say, Gates. I don't know what you're talking about. No, nah, the shit that you say yeah. that motherfuckers don't do, I'm out here doing it. Yeah. I, you know why I'm out here doing it? I'm out here doing it because, nigga, I want the city on. Right. Yeah, yeah. I want that. I want the city on. If I can go, if I can go to the West Coast, if I can go on West Coast platforms like Yuck Mouth, um, if I can go down to Texas on these here platforms, then um. Nigga, I need to be doing platforms right here. Right. And um and so do they. So do they, especially if they're in a position to where 
that them them types of platforms well not even them platforms especially if they're in a position to where their name could bring more attention based off the platform they get on so I, I, you right man you black zach i want to race you nigga like I, I, wanna ra- I don't think that motherfucking Durango fast, nigga. I want to race you. It's and I do want to get... White. He got a white... Is it uh, a yeah, white? I think he got that white yeah, Hellcat yeah. Durango. That yeah. shit hard. Yeah, I've seen I want to motherfucking race you, nigga. And I know you're going to see this. And um, I do want to give a shout out, though, to a local artist, though. Like, Who shout that? out to Mr. Man. Mr. Okay, word, word. T-Mac. My nigga. Shout out to motherfucking Mr. Man. Now, to me, that's the definition of... Calling Somebody services. that a motherfucker work. You know he got shot like two, two, three, like a and week or two ago. Some shit, right? Yeah, he's recovering like right now. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, yeah. About where it. he got shot at in Cali? He no, he got shot at. I I'm not even gonna say the place he got shot. He got at. shot around here. He got shot in Colombia at a local place that people go to. I'm not even gonna say the name of the place because I fuck with the owner. Yeah. And if people don't know. That's where you got man, shot Mac, at. Man, tap in, man. But he's recovering right now from a, from a suit, so get well soon. T-Mac, you know what I'm saying? The city fuck with Yeah, you tap in, man. man. Tap I'm going to hit him up, matter of yeah. fact. Yeah, he did get shot, though. But yeah, man, that's how I feel about, man, local artists ain't shit. And the reason why I say local artists ain't shit, because <laughs> y'all not doing these here local. Um, don't, don't say that Carolina can't do nothing for you when you're not doing nothing for Carolina. But what about the artists that feel like they have done the local stuff, the, the the they've taken advantage of some of the things like these types of podcasts and different uh, avenues and different events where they bring in outside people. They feel like they've done that and they just still haven't been embraced because the culture of South Carolina doesn't breed the music, the hip hop music. What what about what about them? What do you say to them type of people? Shit, yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Um. If you're trying to be a hip hop artist or some shit like that in 2023, you already lost if you're not doing platforms like this. Because mm-hmm. cause, cause motherfuckers don't give a fuck about that shit. Right. These, these motherfucking big ARs and shit, they're going away from this shit. Right. They're looking for like Afro art, Afro uh, centric artists, Afro like V12 Steph, motherfuckers who doing that type of shit. They ain't fucking with these here stupid ass niggas who around here uh, doing that violence and shit in 2023 and shooting and bringing all that negative shit. They want to see that shit on YouTube. Yeah. They they want to hear about that lifestyle and all that shit, but motherfuckers ain't trying to get their shit shut down. Right. Their insurances and shit, they, they clubs and shit, fucking with that shit. When you can have somebody like V12 Steph come through and have them on the dance floor happy, and you got these motherfucking niggas coming through, you got to watch your back and shit. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers like, motherfuckers, the, the, the club divided, Blue on one side, red on one side. Nah, man, like, man, fuck that shit. So, yeah, like, if you ain't out here letting motherfuckers know about you, and if your motherfucking life ain't interesting, kill that shit. They got AI now. They got motherfuckers making songs that sound like Tupac still alive. Right. Heard that. Like, like, yeah, like why, the, why, the, why the fuck do you need these niggas? Right. Yeah, why the fuck you need these new niggas when you can just make new songs for old niggas that's hot? Yeah, that's crazy. I, I heard So that. y'all hear, if y'all ain't tapping in, you're dead. Nobody want to hear your music. Nobody want to, because you're not tapping in. You're not coming to the source. You're not coming to the platforms that's putting you on. And it ain't like this some new shit. Right. This has this been a stable in Columbia hip hop for years now, mm. V12 Studios right. on Broad River Road. It, 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 it's been a stable. Mm-hmm. And, and and I don't understand, and, and and I get it, because if you talk to people probably like Black Zach and, and, and Rennie Rucci, they'll be like, oh, well, where was motherfuckers trying to give me the boost when I was down here? Why is it incumbent upon me? Because it gotta start somewhere. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and it ain't like a motherfucker trying to play you for your shit, like, Oh, we 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 want to interview you. We we want to uplift you. But you'll come and do radio station interviews. When nigga, if your music ain't popping, they don't even want to fuck with you. Right. But you won't come tap in with the streets where we actually fuck with you. We actually in the barber shop saying, yeah, man, you know, niggas need to download this shit for the city. We actually, you know what I'm saying, doing that. Mm-hmm. And then you look at us like, nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying, like, nah. Especially when I'm on the same level as y'all niggas. I don't think y'all understand that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I sell out churches every night. 
I mean, I go church. live in front large churches mm. every night. Yeah. V12 Studios, the pros. We are the city. V12, the label.